tonight I am going to be making one of our favorite dinners, but I'm going to be making it in a very different way. I am going to be preparing spaghetti carbonara. And tonight, instead of using cream or eggs or any of the things that I usually use to make the sauce, I'm going to be using cauliflower. And I'm going to show you how I do it. The first thing I'm going to do is what I usually do, which is I'm going to cut up some bacon and some onion and I'm going to saute that in a pan. I always use antibiotic free, humanely raised, uncured bacon with no nitrates or nitrites in it. It's just so much better for you. And what I'm gonna do is cut these into small pieces. So I'm going to sort of stack this together and cut thin strips. This is a great way to incorporate just a little more vegetable into your diet. And the way the cauliflower cooks down and then gets blended you're not gonna believe how creamy it is. Okay, so that's a good amount of bacon. I'm gonna pop that in a pan. So my pan is here. It's already been warmed up for a while. I've got a fairly low flame right now, but I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And I don't need a big pan because I'm just gonna cook this and the onion together in here. And once the bacon goes in, it's gonna shrink down quite a bit. We'll get that cooking. And let's get the onion ready. I'm just gonna use the same cutting board that I used for the bacon because it's all getting cooked together. Now, if you've never tried the combination of onion and bacon together, you're missing out. It is such a fantastic taste combination. And we're gonna use a lot of onion because the onion and the bacon is what's flavoring the sauce. Let's take a look and see how our bacon is doing. Break it up just a little bit. Onion is waiting here. And let's go prepare the cauliflower. Let's get the cauliflower out of the packaging. I noticed a couple of little spots on it, so I'm going to trim those off. spots on the side. First, let's get some of these leaves off. Cauliflower is one of those vegetables that's just so incredibly versatile. I personally don't care for the taste of cooked cauliflower. I actually prefer it raw if I'm going to eat it. However, um, I have made soups using cauliflower. You can make cauliflower rice. Don't have a steamer here. So I've just put a small bit of layer, maybe a lit, small layer of water, maybe an inch of water at the bottom of this pan. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in it and I'm going to start to add my cauliflower to it. And I'm going to cover this and let it steam for about five minutes. While that's steaming, we'll check in on our bacon here starting to look good. Now you can cook your bacon for this carbonara for as long as you like. If you like soft bacon or if you don't mind soft bacon in your pasta, then this is probably fine. Um, I happen to like it cooked a little bit more, so I'm going to continue to let this simmer. Cook in the oil. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit to try and crisp it up a little bit before I add the onions. Right, this is looking more crispy and it's getting to the point where I'm gonna to wanna to add the onions. So in just a couple minutes, we're gonna add the onions to this. So I'm just gonna carefully add them. We're going to saute the onion until it's soft and translucent. While it's sauteing, I'm going to add a little pepper. Oh, 
a little bit of salt. Bacon is already pretty salty, so it doesn't need much. It's already smelling amazing. My cauliflower is done. It is lightly steamed, and I am going to transfer it to my blender. We're gonna blend it up just like this, and I'm gonna see if I need to add any liquid to it. I'm just gonna stop that for a minute because I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to it for flavor. And I'm using just ch chopped garlic, and I'm giving it a healthy amount to there, so I'm gonna drop that in for a little extra flavor. And I'm actually gonna pop the lid off here because it's starting to get really nice and thick and creamy. So I'm also going to add some Parmesan cheese to this. And you want a pretty healthy amount for carbonara. I would say a half a cup to a cup. And I think it looks like it needs to be thinned out just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because we have not salted our cauliflower, and then we'll taste it for salt. All right, let's taste this for salt. And I'm just gonna show you the creaminess of it. Look at that. So, so creamy. So let me just taste it. Mmm, good. I think it's actually salty enough. I think I salted it just right. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. All right, these are done. The onions are caramelized and the bacon is perfect. So we're just gonna bring this over to my pasta bowl, which is right here. And I'm literally just gonna dump that right in there. Look at all that. That is what's flavoring our sauce. So as soon as the cauliflower gets mixed with that, it's gonna pick up those delicious flavors of the onion and the bacon. It is thick, creamy, and I've got a ton. I'm not even gonna need all of it for tonight. So I can actually freeze some of it and use it for another night. So I'm gonna pour this into my pasta bowl and look at that delicious, thick creaminess. That's probably all we need, but let's stir it up and see. All right. And when the hot pasta is put on top of this, it's going to just coat the pasta so beautifully and taste and feel just like a cream sauce, a very rich cream sauce. Our pasta water is boiling. I am going to add some salt to the pot. I wanna have nicely salted pasta water. And I'm using spaghetti, so I'm just going to carefully dump that in. and let that sink down. My pasta is cooked and I brought it over here to put it in. I'm just gonna sort of pull it out of the pasta water with this spoon and put it right on top of this sauce. Now, I may use some of the pasta water to thin out the sauce a little bit, but the natural water that's still on the spaghetti will do a little of that as well. I made a pound of pasta. I just find it easier to cook the whole thing and then we'll enjoy leftovers if there are leftovers. All right, let's get it mixed up. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of the pasta water to thin the sauce out just a little bit. Now remember, the pasta water is great for thinning things out because it's starchy from the pasta and it's salty. So we're gonna get a, just got a measuring cup full of the pasta water and I'll pour a little bit in at a time and until it gets to the consistency 
I want it. I'm gonna use a fork to help me sort of toss this around. This looks absolutely delicious. Let's try a little bit. Let's take a little swirl. Look at that. Creamy, delicious bacon onion. Let's try it. It's insane. You would never know that this is not made with cream and eggs. It is so creamy, so flavorful. And all I'm really tasting in terms of flavor is the Parmesan cheese, the salt, the pepper, the bacon, and the onions. It's absolutely delicious. I really recommend giving this a try. I think you'll be really pleased. You can put this over zucchini noodles. You can put this over pretty much any kind of chicken on chicken as a chicken sauce. It would be wonderful. You can use it in a variety of ways. And I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll like the video. Hit subscribe and tap the notification bell for notifications on future videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you next time.